In video number 46, we're going to go over the basics of the statistics questions you might see on the SAT, primarily mean, median, and mode questions. So let's go ahead and actually, let's skip mean for a second. I know the title suggests we're going to do that first, but I'm going to leave that to the end because that's the most involved of these three. Let's start with the median. So the median is simply the middle number of a list. Middle number of a list. So let's say we have this list, 1, 5, 4, 3, 10, negative 2. Let's see. And let's make one more. And 12. And we want to find the median of it. The first thing we need to do is put them in order, in ascending order. So negative 2 would be first. And then we would have 1, 3, 4, 5, 10, 12. And then we just got to find the middle number of the list. That is our median. So how do we do that? Well, we can see this. We, there's seven numbers. So the middle number is going to be the one that is, you know, right in the middle, the odd one out. So the best way you can do this is just kind of cross eat, cross them out as you go. So you can say, okay, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. Okay, here is my middle number, right? It's the only one that doesn't have a pair to match up with. The other way you can see it is that there's three numbers over here, there's three over here, so that's equal. So this is that middle number that divides those two groups. So the median for this one would be four. Now what happens if you don't have an even number of, uh, or an odd number of, of of numbers or elements there. Well, this is what you do. Let's say your list, when you put it in order, is 3, 7, 8, 9, 12, 18. And we want to know what the median is. Well, note, we've got six numbers, so there's no way, here's three here, here's three here, or here's two here, here's two here. There's no way to get a middle number. Well, what you do in that case is you just take the two middle numbers, so in this case it'd be 8 and 9, right, because you've got two over here, two over here, these are your two middle numbers, and you average them. Um, so we'll talk about average in a little bit, but basically you just take the number that's in between these two. So here would be 8.5. And you can also get that by, again, averaging them, just doing adding them and dividing by two, and that will also get you 8.5. And that's pretty much all you need to know for the median. Again, the key is to put it in order first and then find the middle number. You can't find the median of a list like this because you might think, oh, it's three, there's your middle number. Well, no, you've got to put it in order in order to figure that out. So that is the median. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, mode is even more straightforward than the median. The mode is the number in the list, or the, the element, that appears the most. That's the way to remember it. It's the number, the mode appears the most. So again, let's say we had a list like this. 2, 7, 8, 7, 3, four, seven. What would the mode be here? Well, here we don't really care about the order, we just care about the frequency, the number of times a unit or element appears in the list. So the mode here is going to be seven, right? Because there are three sevens, and that is the one uh, that appears the most of this list. You've got one, two, one, eight, one, three, and one, four, so the seven appears the most. Can you have two modes? You can. Uh, you can have two medians, you can have two averages, but you can have two modes. So let's say for a minute we had a list like this, three, three, four, six, ten, two, two. What would the mode be? Well, if we look at the list, we've got two threes and we've got two twos. Those appear the most, right? There's only a single one of each one of these left. So actually the mode in this case is both two and three. So that's the only exception of the statistic questions where you can have more than one mode in a list. Uh, all right, now that we've done those two, let's go ahead and work on the mean or the average, or you'll maybe seen it written as the arithmetic mean, all the same thing. And a mean is essentially, you know, the average, it's the number, I don't know, I don't know a good definition for average, I guess. The best way to see it is just um, by math, the mathematic definition of it. And the mean, or the average, so I'll call it the mean for now, is simply the sum of the values divided by the number of values. So let's say you had a test where your grades were 95, 95, 100, 80, and 70. And you want to know what your average was for the quarter. Well, first we'd add these up. So let's see, 180, 250. Actually, let's do these first. So this would be 190, 290, 370, 440. So the sum would be 440, and then we divide by the number of numbers there are. So there are five of them. And then we would do this division, and we would get, well, let's see, 440, just do some quick. Uh, so 88. So the average for this case, or the mean, or the arithmetic mean, would be 88. And just like with the median, there can only be one average. You can't have more than one average, as you might expect. Um, 
the key now most SAT problems are not going to be that straightforward when it comes to averages. There are kind of two things that you might see on an SAT um, average problem that would make it a little tricky. First is it's a standard average problem, but they ask you for something more confusing. So for instance, maybe they'll ask you for you know a missing test number if an average you know if an average is 97 and these are your test numbers and you've got one test to go what is the average going to be when you add this number right a complex question like that the key i can offer you for that is to look for the total look for the sum of all the units so remember the equation that we have is the total over the number equals the average right and in general if you can find this total it's going to help you with uh these kinds of problems very uh, quickly. Uh, so in general, when you're doing an average problem, look for the total. And often that will help you solve whatever it is you're looking for. The second way that they might make these a little more confusing is they'll use algebra. So they'll say, you know, you have three terms, x, x plus 2, and x minus 7. What is the average, or what does the arithmetic mean? Well, you know you got x's, just do what you've done before. Add them up, so x plus x plus 2 plus x minus 7, and then divide by the total number of things there are. Well, there's 1, 2, 3. 3, so divide by 3, and then maybe they'll tell you that the average of this list equals 10. What is x? Well, here's your equation. So cross, multiply, solve, and you should be ready to go. That's pretty much it for averages. Let me think if there's anything else that I can note about them. I think that's it. So yeah, uh, these questions are generally not that bad, especially the median mode questions. It's really just about making sure you keep track of your numbers and uh, don't make any silly mistakes, because that's generally what they're going to do. They're going to try to make you fall into some kind of silly mistake. And if we can avoid that, we'll uh, get all these right and we'll be ready to go.